It's raining outside. It's super cold. It's a storm. It's official. It's official. So I really it's have to focus on the road. It's a really uh, yeah, severe weather conditions. You go and I will talk to the camera. Yeah. Isn't that like we do it always? I talk way too much anyway. So um, we are going to Rome. Woo, woo, woo. So we just landed. We're in Rome. In Rome. And After the only one and a half hours. It's super fast. It was supposed to be two hours, but it was super fast. The flight was rough in the beginning because of the storm. Yeah. But there was only like 15 minutes. I don't minutes. like that. I'm really afraid if, if something's shaking. Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, everything went fine. And we had a beautiful sunset, as you've yeah. seen in the footage. But I had to ask some other people so to beautiful. film it, and that was a little bit difficult for them. Yeah, because the, 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 the airport is like really close to the Mediterranean Sea. It's yeah. Like Right there, the boat. Oh, we were stuck on the other side, so we couldn't film the sunset. So I asked no. some some people that were sitting there, yeah. and they had a difficult time filming. But also, the steward has said they had like beautiful sunsets the whole week, but this was the most beautiful they mm. have seen this week. Okay, yeah. so uh, let's get to our hotel. Yeah, uh, let's go to the train. Oh my god. <laughs> Come in. Ciao. Welcome to our palace. <laughs> Ooh, we have a little old. Our great room. Amazing. Should you first do the. I can already show the bathroom. Oh. oh. Hi there. Oh. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> bathroom. Integrated into the room with a glass ceiling. Look at that. So you can see the chandelier when you poop. Yeah. And we have a rain shower. It's a rain shower, that's nice. It's amazing. I don't want to trip again. No, no, it's... There's another stair. <laughs> There's a lot of steps here in the room. A little fridge. A little a fridge. fridge. A, a nice bed, a big... An odd piece of art. Big covers. And a nice, huge window. Let's have a look. Into the streets of Rome. Look at this. Gorgeous buildings around here. Oh my god. Amazing. Yeah, I can't see with that. Oh, let me see. That's nice. You can see the You can peek into other people's homes. It's <laughs> nice. Okay, thank you for the tour. You're welcome. I'll be going now. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. We are on the terrace in Rome and we are having dinner, yay! I'm having chips as my first food in Rome, super Italian. First meal in Rome, what are we having? Fried artichoke. Yes, I love it. You don't really love it, right? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, I it's like special. it. special. Yeah. 
like it's something else. I don't like it that much. But we'll get past that as well. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine that we're sitting on a terrace outside with our summer jackets in Rome mm -hmm. and we just came from the storm. Storm, cold, heavy rain, horrible. So yeah, there you have it. We are going to enjoy our meal. See you later. Ciao. Food is really good. We have pasta, mm. carbonara in my case. I forgot what mine is called, but it's only like amazing Parmigiano cheese mm. and pepper. And this has artichoke in it as well. Oh, really? Awesome, yeah. Mm. Mm. And the pasta al dente, mm. as it's supposed to be. Ooh. So where are we going? Home. Home. Sleep. Back, back to the hotel. Home to our room. Yes. This is our beautiful entrance. Isn't it gorgeous? It looks amazing. With a amazing statue over there. Need to go this way. Scala. Look at this beautiful gorgeous old mailboxes yes. and, and a gorgeous old elevator. Call the elevator, call it. Call it. And now we can open. Please enter. Can you open the door for me? Uh, <laughs> it is a tiny Ooh. elevator, right? <laughs> Sorry. Let me close the gate. Close the door. Close the door. And then we need to go to second, right? Okay, now we have Almost finished, but I had an amazing breakfast. I had scrambled eggs, cheese on top, and avocado under the egg. And that is super nice, thin bread. Super nice, love it. And where did you find this place? I think I found it on YouTube. Oh. So YouTube is a good place to see. <laughs> but it also has really good ratings as well. Look, it's just one table where everybody just has. <laughs> Where everybody just has breakfast all together, and I finish my eggs and a, an amazing orange and lime juice. So we are at Campo di Fiori, great food market where you can get everything. And this awesome guy <laughs> is having a taste balsamic vinegar. And this one is 16, right. 16 years, years old. old. <laughs> he tried another 12 years old. This is for the right grapes. And this is good in the sweet. And the best for a salad was for this for chicken, for meat, for fish, for eggs, for everything. And this is very good. 12 years old. This is for inside bright grapes. Ooh, this is good. I think this is my favorite. This is also very good. This is 12 years old. And this is pretty good, not bad. This is for our 
this salad was for you, chicken, meat, fish, for oh, everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, good, 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 I get up for the oh. some truffles. So, we just had breakfast and then we got to try some limoncello, which is, they had a homemade version with 30%. So I might already be a little bit drunk in the morning because I don't drink alcohol that much. So <laughs> now I'm fine. So we are still at Campo di Fiori, the food market, but they have the best pizza Bianco here, right? Bianca. Bianca. Oh, pizza sorry. Bianca. Bianca. Hi, Bianca. Um, and it's just... It's called it's I white want pizza. Well. I want one as well. It means white pizza. It's so that's the white pizza. And it's just like... Yeah. It looks like bread, doesn't it? And it's a Forno Campo di Fiori, and it's supposed to be the, the best pizza Bianca in Rome. And we ordered for four euros, but we got a whole bag because we thought yeah. four so euros is not that much. So we thought we'd just do four euros, but we have like... We can feed like six yeah. people or something. Well, it was 10 euros per kilo. <laughs> Piazza Navona and we have some live music in the back and we have the sun that came out turn around turn around because there's the oh. fountain and we don't see anything and it's so warm in the sun that we are going to take off our jackets now yeah it's way too warm in February my yes, god they amazing. have rain and storm in the Netherlands so this is amazing yeah We are about to enter one of the highlights of Rome, the Pantheon. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. And it's for Hi. free. You can just go in. How awesome. Yeah. Do you want to go with us or do you want to stay outside? I think they want to go with us. Do you want to go with us? We'll take you in. Let's go. So this is the Pantheon and the hole that you see up there, it's a real hole, an actual hole. It will rain in when it rains. Really? Oh. On your head. <laughs> What happened? A bird pooped on my head. Let me see, let me see. 
<laughs> oh, ew, there it is. <laughs> now, you might I don't want it to dry out. <laughs> I want to laugh to the video camera first. You know what? Like, and there's, there's, oh, there's also a guy wanted to promote his restaurant. <laughs> free zone. And, yes. Oh, free coronavirus free zone. Yes, oh, okay. that's good. Um, do you remember the New York vlogs where I had bird poop on my hand? Well, now he has. This it. is worse. <laughs> this is worse. This so is fresh. Okay, I'm gonna clean him up as a do. good husband to be should do. do now. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm washing my hands. Because. Because I had bird poop on my hands. <laughs> I can't say it and enough. I touched it and then I saw what it was and it was disgusting. We just have the best ice cream ever. They have so many special mm. flavors as I've never heard of before. And we're, oh and my god. And we're not going to tell you what we had because you'll just have to wait for the video to come out. Or at least you can say what you had because I don't think it's in the video. This one what, that is almost gone, there was rose and raspberry. Mm. And the rose flavor was incredibly strong. It was really special. And the other one is Crema de la Nonna. It's kind of a custard cream. Yeah, it's very really nice. And I have one that is amazing you were the for first Dutch one people. today that ordered yeah. this. It was untouched. It was untouched, but so it you is, can maybe guess what it was. It's a really acquired taste. Well, we just had a video out on the Dutch acquired mm. snack or but treat. This is amazing. I've oh. tried this one. This is really good. Kind of jealous. Mm. I'm happy that we actually went to one of the best places for our first gelato mm. and that we didn't, didn't just go to any gelateria. They are all good here, but this one was really well known. So yeah. yeah. Mm. So we escaped the busyness of the city and we went down to the river, which is a really nice quiet walk. Now quiet, so you can very you can hear the, the cars a lot still. Yeah, but they are up there. They are up there, but and there's not there. a lot of people and it's just no, you and the river. No, you don't see a lot of people. It's really, you can be at ease here. And the bridges. And the bicycle and path, you can bike along the whole river. Oh, like <laughs> <bike coming along. laughs> so yeah, that's it for for now. Yeah. Yeah, it feels very serene. You don't have an, uh, the idea that you're in Rome now. Like people wise. People wise, no. So more bikes so coming. So few people. So yeah. yeah. We are enjoying a super nice day in the sun. Yeah. First day exploring the I'm city. I'm already so happy that we uh, chose Rome uh, as a yeah. city trip in February. We were thinking about Scandinavia and that would have been even colder probably than yeah. at home. So. We'll do Scandinavia some other idea. time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are you having, Tim? I'm having amazing yoki with sea salt and pepper. So, uh, and I have with pork belly, really crispy, and then 
the pasta with tomato sauce. Really good. I must be chan. Mm. I don't know what mine is called actually. Mm -hmm. I was waiting for you to start talking. Me? You always talk so much. So much. <laughs> so that was our first day in Rome, our proper first day, because last night, of course, we arrived, but today we yeah. had to discover, we got to discover. Walked around the city the whole day, almost. Tomorrow we're going to the Vatican. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. So we just arrived at the Vatican. I don't know if you, no, you can't see it in the back, but there's a wall and we're walking towards the Vatican Museum right now. Mm. But we first needed some breakfast. So we got some panini. Yeah, we were searching for quite some time. We walked for like 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't see anything for breakfast. So at now, least not the, yeah. um, something that looked good. But no. now we found a little nice shop that's with nice. panini. So yeah. that's, that's, that's really, that's really nice. And uh, the museum is just around the corner. So we're going to eat this. And then we're going to go into the Vatican Museum and the Sistine Chapel. Maybe you know, but I love taking baths. And here at the Vatican Museum, they have some gorgeous baths. Look at that. Oh, I want to take one home. It's too heavy for the luggage, I think. There, there it is. Oh, there it is. So we just got out of the Sistine Chapel. I'm underwhelmed. <laughs> I've already been there once and I can I can tell you as well that I was underwhelmed when I was there the first time. I had to look for the fingers. <laughs> let's do the fingers, let's do the fingers. Yeah. Michelangelo fingers, the famous painting. Well that actually was easy to find because they just put it right in the middle up on the ceiling. Yeah, but well, amongst like so many others. How many steps to go, Tim? I don't know. Too, too many. <laughs> we made it. Almost 600 steps. Some were very crooked, small. Very crazy. We had to bend like this. Small and like But this. the view is amazing and we'll show you, of course. Gorgeous view of the city. Yeah, this church is amazing. It's 
so huge. Is it the biggest church in the world? I think so. And look, we were just up there. That's where we were, all the way there. And we walked around and then we climbed the whole thing all the way to the top. Can we see the top? To walk a little bit. There. All the way up there. In the little thing, that's where we were. We just, we had to confess all our sins, of course. eating my last piece of pizza. It was so good. I, look how thin it is. It's pizza marinara. It's only tomato, basil and garlic. Perfect. So good. Oh, we have our second ice cream here in Rome. This time from the Frigidarium, which is also one of the best ones in town. Oh, their homemade, of their house style flavor, which is Frigidarium, caramel cookie, and uh, what was it? Chocolate. Mm, chocolate. Amazing. And I have cinnamon. Oh, you're tripping on my coat. Um, and I have cinnamon as I well, which is awesome. Okay. So we just had dinner and it was a real cheap dinner this time at this um, local mm -hmm. pub kind of restaurant. 16 euros for the both of us. It was super cheap. I had risotto, you had pasta. Pasta riata. And it was good. It wasn't the best, but it was good. And yeah. we just wanted a quick, bit, uh, quick bite because um, we had a late lunch. Yeah. So we didn't need that much food. But we have some good news because we are going for our second ice cream today. Yeah. Lavender and white peach ice cream and ginger. I and love it's again from ginger. Gelateria del Teatro because we have another shop mm. just around the corner from our hotel. Oh, you have to taste the lavender. I also have lavender. Yeah, I know you have it's it. My bottom one. Amazing. But I also have the rosemary one. Mm. Right. I had that yesterday. That was really good. I was just gonna say good morning. Mm -hmm. For breakfast, today we went to a biscotteria. This was, <laughs> these cookies are the best. Well, you have to wait for the video to come out. Yeah. You found this on the, on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And it's super local. And also a, a colleague of mine told me, she was also here. Really? Mm -hmm. She mm. showed me photos and was like, oh, I have to go here. On the outside, you don't even notice it. You would just walk past it. Yeah, those, there's no sign or there's anything. There's no sign or anything, but it's and it's tucked away somewhere in the, in the streets of Trastevere. Yeah, it's a really nice area. Really quiet now in the morning, and uh, yeah, it's mm. beautiful. And it's family owned. It's third third generation. So and the cookies yeah. are so they have so good. many different cookies, and you oh. can just get like a, a, a mix of everything yeah that's it's what really we did. not expensive and it's really good yeah and they are really it's a really nice breakfast yeah so um yeah that's Perfect. it and we'll take you along the day again
we found the best pizza in Rome. It is so good. Tim, what is the market called? I keep mixing up the names. Mercato Testaccio. And oh, these pizzas, they are super creative. And they are the best. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Is it good, Tim? It's amazing. I love it. I'm so happy that we found this. I'm in heaven. Pizza heaven. <laughs> So take three guesses where we are. I have no clue. You have no clue. You can turn around now, Tim. Oh. Hmm. Maybe at the Colosseum? Yeah, the Colosseum. 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 Oh, that's for fancy people. Colosseum. 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 So yeah, are we going to go inside? I don't think so. No. We could peek through the windows, the open windows and we decided not to go in. There was a lot of construction inside, a lot of scaffolding and everything. So we decided not to stand in line, not to spend the money, to just have a look outside. It's enjoy also the beautiful view. from the outside. Yeah. But that's enough, I think. I think so as well. Really beautiful view from Palatino Hill, overhaul of Rome. Did you like it? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Nice. Oh, okay. I'm a little tired today. Oh, he's a little bit tired. Sorry. No, that's okay. We've been walking for like, I don't know, to uh, more than 20 kilometers per day for the last few days. So that's a lot. So guess what? Time for another ice cream. Dark chocolate and my all-time favorite, lemon. I have salty caramel and tiramisu. Mm. <laughs> Dark chocolate is amazing. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Tiramisu is nice. Mm. Good. <laughs> Tim is already eating. We, you just... I had one as well. I know, but they didn't see that in the video. After three days of pasta, uh, we had, of course, we had some pizza as well. I, when we saw a really nice Asian restaurant right around the corner, so I said to Tim, can Not we go there? Not even around the corner, a few yeah. buildings further. For, yeah. So I said, can we go there? Can we just go to the Asian tonight? Because I love Asian food. And we'll have, we have a whole day tomorrow of pasta, pizza and whatever. So tonight we will probably do some really nice, some dim sum, some Vietnamese they had, I think. Well, we'll see what they have. They had Thai food, they had everything. So Sushi. we'll keep you posted. For now, it's back to the cookies that we bought this morning. They are so good. We didn't finish the whole bag. Yeah. So, so we'll nice. take a little um, afternoon snack before dinner. They make amazing cookies. So good. What's happening? It's raining. Raining. One hour of rain in Rome. No, oh well. No, no, it's 10. Until 10. Oh, two hours of rain. Three hours. Anyway, let's get a souvenir for our rabbit babysitter. Yes, souvenir shop just around the corner. Okay, let's see. 
if they have a souvenir for Inga, which is our friend that has been taking care of our rabbits. Yeah. chewing on my fortune cookie. <laughs> no, me too. Uh, tomorrow it will be sunny again, luckily. Yay. We only had a few hours of rain this evening, which is fine. Oh, Jim is already coming. <laughs> yes. So, for now, oh, while we walk in our courtyard, it's goodbye for now. See you tomorrow. Good morning, we just walked out of the hotel and got some amazing breakfast at St. Eustachio. We have something very special, a kind of puff pastry thingy. It's called Sfogliatella. And there's ricotta cheese and orange water in there. Really excited. Dennis already had a bite, as you can see. <laughs> oh. Wow. Mm. How come you are not covered in powdered sugar? I was waiting for that. Mm. I got powdered. I got my powdered God. sugar over over my whole face, and I don't know. Oh, it's super crunchy. Oh yeah, make the sound again. Make it. Take a bite so we can hear the sound. Mm. Almost falling off. <laughs> this is the second traditional Roman yeah, breakfast dish or breakfast bun to go. Oh, snack. Sweet or snack. snack. But it thought so. And we're just outside of the Trevi Fountain, so let's just walk there a little bit. We'll take you to the tray. We found and why not? Look, there it is. Oh, it's not that crowded. It's early morning. There are some crowds, of course. But it's not that crowded yet. <laughs> we were here at night. And it was much, much larger crowd. So we just visited the Capuchin Crips. It was with all the skulls and everything. It was really interesting and really intriguing to see. Mm -hmm. The entry price was a little bit high, I have to say. Yeah. But it was, yeah, very special. We had the Spanish steps. Yes, as you can see there, the steps and the church. 
And the fun thing, or the great thing about Rome is that fun. Ev everything. And the great thing about Rome is that everything is so accessible. By accessible. Foot. It's so close to one another, and you can just walk from one place to another. And it's. But you're not allowed to sit on the steps, but otherwise. The police, the police will officer will shoot you away. Yeah, they will like whistle and then you're supposed to understand what they mean. <laughs> That's a bit... <laughs> there are no signs yeah. anywhere. And I don't know why you're not supposed to sit on the stairs, the steps. I mean, come on. Have people take a nice picture, have people chill a little bit, but they don't want that. They're very nervous about it. They like... We, had, we were taking a, a photo with our self-timer and we sat down on the steps or somewhere on the wall of the steps and they were whistling and whistling and we were like still s sitting there posed because we wanted to get the picture because there was the one that the one that we <laughs> the one that we uh, wanted it was the only one we could take so we just sit there and ignored her and then she came up to us and was like, I was listening to you! And we were like, oh sorry, we didn't know you were you meant no us. City, no city. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. We're having a really nice lunch at Mami. Deep fried zucchini flour. Mm. Deep fried zucchini. Mm. Really special. It's a bit sweet because of the dough, but not so salty. Just came out of Mami's and we got free magnets from the owner. How nice! I picked up really nice. We've done it again. We are back at it. Is this our fifth ice cream? I think so. Eh? Yeah, and it's the second one at Frigidarium, and we have the Frigidarium one for the second time because it's that good. It is so good. And we got the cookie again. Really good, really good. But you have two other flavors I haven't had before. Yeah, do you have pistachio? I have pistachio and Ooh. sabayona. Oh, nice! Enjoy. Thank you. I have cinnamon, Frigidarium, and. You already had some as well, right? Yeah. Only that one is new. new one, the only but now new we have one. three, that's why we only had two flavors. Mm. But yeah, we had two. Oh, this with the orange, there's like pieces of orange in it. I love this. <laughs> Tim sat down in, I think, at least seven churches. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. He doesn't want to wave. 
Oh, I have to be quiet. So we just bought frappe. Yeah, it's apparently something special that you can only buy in February and March because it's like a carnival snack. Mm. It's a carnival season. So we are lucky that we can buy this at the moment. Mm. Really airy and fluffy. Mm. The powdered sugar oh. is nice on it. Oh. Without the powdered sugar, it might have been a little bit too dry. There's something lemony. Yeah, it has something, yeah, mm. exactly. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Can I have one more bite? Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Sorry. Bye. Mm -hmm. Just ordered a mixed platter of ham and pepperoni salami things for you. And I got uh, hopefully awesome cheese. And we also have some thick honey and a little bit of walnuts over there. That is our pre course or anti pasty. Yeah. For our last uh, dinner of the, yeah. of the trip. Because I haven't had fresh cheese and I'm craving the cheese. I ordered the homemade cacao papadelle with wild boar and wine sauce. It smells amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Wow. Oh, I love wine sauce. It's really good, really, I don't know, really intense flavors. Can you also taste the, the chocolate in the pasta? Or is it more the color? Mm. No, you can actually. It's subtle. And first you get the wine, and then you get the cacao. Mm. It's really good, it's a really nice combination. And the wild boar meat in, in there gives it that really depth and rich flavor as well. Oh, this could easily be my favorite pasta that I had this trip. Am I saying something weird? Yeah. I love the other ones that we had. This is really intense. I love it. So it's early morning, waiting for the tram and it's actually arriving already, so we were lucky that we left the hotel two minutes early. Oh, that's one more. <laughs> because they don't always go on time here, right? They are early, they are late, so we decided to, to not take any gambles. Because this one was not to go for another five minutes. Yeah, and it's already it's here. So, anyway, we'll um, head to the airport now. So we're waiting for the plane to go up. And it appears to be less full than on our way here. On our way here. Yeah. Next to us and next to us also. We'll see. Well, we just want to thank you for watching our travel vlog from Rome. We hope you liked seeing our adventures and be on the lookout for the food video that will be on the regular stuffer channel. So we'll see you on our next trip, next adventure.